Hi, welcome to Get a Clue Casual Gamer, where we get a clue about a game. Well, today we're going to be looking at a list of games. And so I'm just going to give you a heads up um, about these, and then you get to decide if this is, if one of them is more interesting than another, or maybe they're all kind of cool. Uh, we're looking at games that have to do with words, using letters or um, words that, um, there's one where you're creating sentences. All the others have to do with like a single word, okay? Oh, excuse me, my dog is asking for my attention. No, wait. Okay, so we're going to begin with the grandfather of them all and the first three that we talk about the oldest ones uh, i am not going to be showing them to you i do own them but i yeah they're big they're bulky and i've had and they're old the ones i have are old because i've had them for years because i've always liked playing games they are mass market games um not hobby games and that's fine because People enjoy them. And the first and the granddaddy of all the word games that I know of is Scrabble. Yeah, it's been around since 1948, which means that in 2022, it is 74 years old. Next year, 2023, it will be celebrating its 75th anniversary. And I bet uh, whoever owns the rights to it now will be putting out a, a 75th anniversary edition of some sort. But Scrabble, um, I will honestly say I am lousy at Scrabble. I am so bad at Scrabble. Um, <laughs> I, it, for some reason, or maybe it's because when I play with someone uh, who plays Scrabble, it, it's like chess. You know, I know how to play chess, but there's no way I, 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 I don't enjoy it because it's not something that I've memorized the moves for or um, with Scrabble, I don't know that all the two letter words out there that you can use to finish off your letters. I don't know them and I'm not interested in knowing them. I'm interested when I play a word game, I'm interested in just trying to come up with a with a word that I know and um, and see what I can do with what I've given. So yes, I can play Scrabble, that's no problem. But you know, it's like I do have a vocabulary of sorts, but I don't necessarily have a Scrabble vocabulary for people who really are really good at it. So that being said, I still like word games. Back in the 80s, in 1984, a game came out called Balderdash, where you were making up a word or meaning for word, and you were just being creative with this and, and trying to talk people into believing that your uh, definition was the correct one for that word that you really didn't know what it meant. Uh, but again, with actual words and writing out words uh, came in 1988, which is 34 years ago now, Scattergories. And so yes, I have played my share of Scrabble, Balderdash, Scattergories, and you know, Apples to Apples, all those regular, regular games that we grew up with or had around the house for the last 30 plus years. And I have owned these myself. But I want to get us a little closer to, well, maybe this century. I do have one that just slips in into 1998. And that's where I'm going to start because this list I'm show sharing with you is a list from the oldest to the newest. So maybe you've 
heard of some of the oldest ones. Some of them have been around long enough that they've made it to Target, that they've made it to Walmart, that they've made it to, you know, yeah, in fact, this first one, I found it at Barnes & Noble back in, it came out in 1998, and I'm pretty sure I got it pretty close to when it first came out. It's called Quiddler. It, I, I'm a bookie, I like to read, not the bookie with bedding, but bookie with books, you know, and, um, and so, yes, I would find myself in Barnes & Noble, and they had that little small section with unusual games that you didn't find at Walmart and Target and Kmart back then. And Quiddler was one of them. It's part of a sister set of three games, and I own all three games. The first one was Set, and then you have um, Quiddler, and the third one... I do not remember at this moment, and since it has nothing to do with words, I'm not going to worry about it. Quiddler is a deck of cards that has letters on it, and um, you get a certain number of cards, and you are trying to create words with these cards and use up all your cards. Now, I played this on my birthday solo. I did a, a whole list of like 20 games. I don't remember, 15, 20 games uh, that I played solo all in one day. And um, <laughs> I got all these cards and I'm here like, oh my gosh, how am I going to figure all of this out? And I actually ended up with no leftover cards. I was so proud of myself. I took a picture of it because it was like, oh, I actually was able to come up with words for all of these letters that I got, including the QU. Um, so yes, Quiddler is a fun. All of these that I'm mentioning besides, um, I mean, they're all easier than Scrabble. Let's just say that. They're all in that level or easier than Scattergories and Balderdash. So if you've been comfortable with those games through, you know, through your life, any of the games I want to mention here are way in your level of play. So if you've never played Quiddler, you can find it now in more places, but the place that I found it originally was at Barnes & Noble when they had like two shelves of games. Now they have like five or six whole rows of you know four shelves on each side I mean it's like all they have aisles of games now but Quiddler they still have it there too because I've seen it there so that you get came out in 1999 now we're coming into the 21st century and in 2005 a game called You've Been Sentenced came out. And it is full of five-sided cards. And each side of the card has a word, a different word. And you get a handful of cards, and what you're supposed to do is try to create a sentence using these words. And it doesn't, it can be, it usually is a silly sentence, but it has to be grammatically correct, okay? So you can't mix uh, the grammar uh, tenses and stuff. It has to be grammatically correct, but it, it can be a silly sentence. Um, like the ones, the words that are shown here are short, lumpy, worms, momentarily filled. Then there's a wild card, dugout. So. The sentence they came up with was, short, lumpy worms mom momentarily filled the dugout. They created a sentence from all these words. And that is what You've Been Sentenced uh, is about. It's, you know, back in 2007 and other times, there's different parenting groups and not any group that I currently know of. Um, or recognize but it won awards and it's got stickers to prove it but truthfully I have played this game um, 
for decades because I mean if it came out in 2005 that was 17 years ago so it's been around for a while you've been sentenced and you know where I bought it where I found first found it Barnes and Noble again it was a game that was different from the ones being sold at Walmart and but looked interesting and looked like fun and it makes you think without being too heavy it, it gets your it's creativity going with this one you you're given the words now you create a sentence so that's my uh, number two my number three is one that has made it to most stores now and that's bananagrams and bananagrams is a bunch of tiles similar to Scrabble. They each have a letter on it and you will be creating words using these tiles in a cross manner um, but you're really going to be creating and I'm going to see yeah there's a little picture of people playing there so it's very similar to Scrabble but it's much more um, I mean, the rules a little are different. You don't have the multiple word or multiple letter uh, thing because you don't have a board. Uh, but there are rules to help you with this game. And let me close it without catching it on the plastic. Thank you. And that is Bananagrams. It came out, believe it or not, in 2006. So it is 16 years old now. I can remember the first time I saw that this and what gone. Oh, that's interesting. And I think I just saw that they're um, going to be putting it in a box now instead of the banana. So if you want one of these and you see one in a banana, now might be the time to buy it because I think they're planning to make it more of a mass market box and not the banana. And anyone who's old enough to remember when legs pantyhose came out you know what I mean when I'm talking about how cool the original packaging was before they made it a mass market packaging mm-hmm so that is bananagrams great very similar to Scrabble you've got these dice but it's much more portable and easy and you can take it anywhere number four is something that came out and quickly left and came out in 2007 and that's Scrabble Express now the ex the Scrabble Express wasn't the only game that came out because behind me you will see Clue Express and in the other room I have Battleship Express and I believe Sorry Express there were four that came out that year, and I just picked them each up. In fact, I think I found them on sale, and so I just bought all four of them. And this is one that has a different letter, I mean cubes, with letters on it. And again, you're going to be making words out. Now, um, you roll them, and you create what you can with what you're given, uh, what's showing face up, which actually reminds me very much of an old game that I had when I was in high school, which I actually have over here. I came across it in one of my storage boxes and went, oh my gosh, I remember when I was in high school, I got this, the Scrabble crossword cubes. Same premise. You have cubes. Let me show the better side cubes that have letters on each side and you were timed and you created as many words as you could from the letters that were showing and that is Scrabble Express if by any chance you come across it or something similar no it's a quick game it's nothing like Scrabble in that it's not long and drawn out it's short and sweet and compact as well so that is my number four, Scrabble Express, came out in, 20, in 
2007, 2007, which means it's 15 years old. That was 15 years ago. Then, my number five, the last of the older ones, came out in 2007 by the same people as Bananagrams, I believe, and it is called Zip It. And inside, both zippers will open, and inside are cubes that have different letters on different sides. Very similar to, oh, oops, sorry, honey. That was, that hit my baby. <laughs> my dog, I'm sorry. Yeah, I know, it was just your, it was just your butt, and it wasn't too heavy. Sorry, you're okay. Good girl, you stay. Okay, anyway, it kind of opened up over there. I'll clean it up after I'm done. So anyway, because I don't, I, I don't edit any of this. You just see me as I am. So anyway, so it's very similar to that. Well, I can show you like the, the crosswords. The, the cubes have different letters and you're going to create it. What's kind of cool about this bag though is that it serves as your scorekeeper. Because here's zero, you, you get, uh, you go, or I think it might be a speed thing as well. You're both trying to come up with things or as many words as you can. And, but if you get one point, two points, three points, and the winner is the first one to get to 10. Um, the instructions are inside of it, and it's been a while since I played it. So, But it, it works very similar to uh, Scrabble Express and Scrabble Cubes. It's Zip It, and it came out, I got it, I found it, at, um, it looks like a like a TJ Maxx or um, Home Goods or Marshalls tag. Got it for five dollars originally. Of course, nowadays. Hmm. Now we come to this, the um, the new ones, and by new I mean one came out four years ago, two came out last year, and one came out this year already so let's start with the oldest which is came out in 2018 just one and i've got the band on it because you see it's kind of full because i have two sets in here it's a party game it's a fun game uh called just one it won spiel de yars in 2019 which is a prestigious a very well-known gaming award that um, games really hope to get. And just won, won <laughs> the Spiel des Jahres, the game of the year in 2019. And um, it is a, well, one, if you buy one box, it's three to seven people. And um, basically, one person has a word that they don't know that they're supposed to, you know, they're supposed to be guessing this word. Everyone else can see that word, and, but they're only allowed to write one word clue for that word. And if any two people say or more say the same word, write the same word, all of them are though all of that same word is canceled out. And the person who's guessing will never see that word. And so you're trying to think of a word that is a little different, but that can help maybe with other people's choices that you have no idea what they're writing down until everyone's finished writing. <laughs> um, you're hoping that your clue will not, be will not be duplicated and will work well to help the guesser guess the word. I love this game. This is um, a very fun party game. And um, when, when you're looking for something, this is fresh and new. It's only been out for four years now and it is extremely popular and you should not have any problems finding just one. Again, I have enough here for 14 people to play because the more the merrier. So I, I just love that game. Now we come into last year 
And the same company that gave us just one in 2021 gave us So Clover. I think I've done a video on So Clover, an individual one. It hit, I saw it for the first time in September at a gaming retreat and it was extremely popular. It has be, been popular in every uh, conference, convention, gaming, grouping. Anybody who's ever played this has loved it. It's such a unique concept. Um, everyone will have, a, it's uh, for three to six players in one container. And this is one of those that I, I'm toying with. If I can get a good price, I might get a second set so that it could be a but really you you can you can have more people doing it and just rotating the uh for the green forms that are used the plastic uh forms and that so that everyone will have a chance but anyway uh and basically you have this hard plastic you you randomly randomly you're not supposed to choose where you're going to put them you're supposed to randomly put them there and then try to come up with a one word that goes with the two words that show on that same side and then these words are taken off and um a mix and then you place the plastic container and the uh, little square uh, it, you actually add a fifth one to really try and confuse people, but it's a cooperative game. You really want them to guess what the what card goes where, and uh, it's just a fun game. It's easy, uh, you know. It people just really enjoy this game. It is so clever to use the so clover aspect of it, and. Um, I really highly recommend these. These newest ones, uh, yeah, I mean, the, for part, if you're looking for a modern party game that uses words like you felt when Balderdash, the first time you played Balderdash or Scategories or Apples to Apples or any of those back in the 80s, and, or if you're younger, whenever you were playing them before, these are the games that can blow them out of the water. Okay, so I highly, highly recommend them. And then the last one that came out late last year, like I hadn't heard of it until like November was I think the first time I heard about this one. And um, a little wordy. Now, something special about this is that it is done by the same manufacturers as Exploding Kittens. So if you've ever heard of Exploding Kittens, this is the same uh, publishers as that uh, all of the exploding kittens stuff that's been out for you know so much for so many years um, but a little wordy because they are uh, published by a, a company that has a very known game in, especially amongst the 20 somethings um, you can find this in a lot of stores and it's not expensive. I mean, none of them, none of these is expensive. These are not expensive games. Word games and letter games are not expensive. Um, but this one is like $16, $17. I mean, really reasonable. Now, this is not a party game. Those, just one and so clever are party games. This is a two player game. And basically you're getting um, some letters and behind a little screen you create a word using some or all of the letters you have, one word, and then you write it down and then you mix up the tile, the little cardboard tiles and hand them over to the, the your opponent and that you get theirs and you're trying to figure out what word they created with the tiles they had and they're trying to figure out what words you created with the tiles you had. That's the game. It's very simple and you can do rounds of it. I mean, you can it, it can take a few minutes and go, hmm, let's do that again. And put new tiles and do some more words. And similar to that, 
but not just for two players. It can be two players, but two to six just this year. And it's only March of 2022. In fact, I'm recording this because I record these a little ahead and then schedule them. Um, I'm recording this on the first day of spring. <laughs> Yay. Um, <laughs> yes. Uh, Word Heist is a 2022 game. And it uses cards that have letters on it. And ev and everyone has the same letters to work with. And you create a word that you hope no one will guess. But you are trying to guess the words that the others have written down. Now, I have only played this two-player so I'm not sure how it would play when you have six people using the same letters. I, that It will make it much more complicated the more people who are playing because there's just so many words you can come up with with the same letters and not have somebody guess yours and knock it out of the of point value of you getting points. So Word Heist is... A simple game uh, it does not take a big it doesn't have a big footprint uh, it, but it can be played with two people I played it with my cousin when he was in the hospital for a while and all we had was the hospital tray space uh, in fact I we played a little wordy and word heist on different visits uh, because they will fit on a small hospital tray table thingy you know while he was in the in the bed um so word heist is the newest thing and it really is it's like how do they come up with these ideas uh that are different yet this similar it's like we all know how to come up with words but look at those letters like i'm looking at that i see cart crate but I'm leaving off the J. Yeah, it's like, hmm. So, you know, jet, jar. <laughs> yeah, so there's so many different things. And it's simple. We're not going for big, long, complex things. So, there you have it. Nine, plus I mentioned some other ones on the way. But nine that I truly say are, are good word and uh, word games whether you start with letters or you actually come up with the word yourself or something or a sentence using words that have been dealt to you these are all in that vein so <clears throat> if you or somebody you love likes things with you know crossword puzzles or Scrabble and, and you're looking for something new, or maybe you grew up with Balderdash and Scattergories and you want a different kind of party game. Here are some ideas. And there you have it. You are all worded up now. And happy gaming. And I in, hope you found one or two or three or four or nine or 12 <laughs> games that caught your attention and you're gonna try them out and learn something new because that's why we get a clue about things here we got a clue about games that have to do with words and letters so until next time god bless you and your family happy gaming bye